The reason why momentum is so important is because of the idea of conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum says that the mo momentum before a collision will be equal to the momentum after a collision. In this simple example, we have a one-dimensional collision where we have one ball at rest, another ball hits it, and afterwards the two balls move off in opposite. If you were to find the momentum of the two balls before they collided and added them up, and got the momentum of the balls after they collide and added them up, you would find that momentums are equal before and the momentum after. The total before equals the total after. If you have a head-on collision, it's important to remember that one of the velocities has to be positive and one of the velocities has to be negative. In a two-dimensional collision, it's important to remember to treat the horizontal direction and the vertical direction separately. So you will have um, two separate problems, one in which you analyze the horizontal motion of the two objects and one in which you analyze the vertical motion of the two objects. In this case you'll see one object moves down, one object moved up, and that's because before the collision there was no vertical momentum. So the two vertical momentums after the collision have to cancel out. The formula you're going to use for conservation momentum is the momentum of object 1 plus the momentum of object 2 before the collision is equal to the momentum of object 1 plus the momentum of object 2 after the collision. Again, if it's a two-dimensional collision, do this equation twice, once for each dimension. 